Uh, what is the difference between a resident and a citizen? What happens is, uh, you know, when you apply for residency, you first get your resident visa. Uh, then after you spend uh, a particular amount of time in New Zealand or fulfill certain other conditions, that particular amount of time normally is two years. And in each one of those two years, you should have spent approximately six, six months. So six months in year one and six months in year two, you should have spent. And that gives you the ability to apply for a permanent resident visa. And from your um, the first date you got your resident visa, uh, five years later, you would be uh, eligible to apply for your citizenship. What are the differences between a resident and a permanent resident and a citizen? Not a whole lot of things. You know, most residents also get the same benefits as a citizen, but citizens uh, get a few other benefits like they get a Kiwi passport. Uh, I should have one somewhere here. Uh, I can show it to you, but somewhere at the moment. But so uh, 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 citizens get a Kiwi passport, which allows them a uh, visa free entry into our uh, travel to, I think about 100 and uh, I, I don't remember exactly how many countries, but there are a lot of countries that allow you to enter with a Kiwi passport without a visa. So you can la enter, uh, land there and then seek entry and they will let you in because you're a Kiwi passport holder. So that's one distinct advantage of a citizen. The second distinct advantage of a citizen is that you can contest for elections in New Zealand. So if you are desiring to become a member of parliament or a prime minister here in New Zealand, that it'll help if you are a citizen. But if you are not a citizen and you're only a resident or a permanent resident, you still have the right to vote. So you can still participate in the democratic election process, but you will not be able to contest for elections. And I guess the third uh, uh, benefit you would get out of being a citizen is if you go abroad somewhere and you're caught, uh, let's say, in an unfortunate sit uh, situation, you will get you know, consular support from the local New Zealand uh, High Commission or embassy or whatever presence they have. So that's pretty much the main thing. But otherwise, uh, on the ground level here in New Zealand, you know, uh, there isn't a lot of difference between uh, residents and permanent residents and citizens. And you'd get all the access to all the facilities and uh, other benefits. Of course, there are certain benefits which are applicable only to permanent residents and citizens and not to new residents. So there are a few subtle uh, differences.